Eric, the team have been a top eight side away from home in more than two years. Why do you, why do you think that? <laughs> yeah, so I was waiting for that question. Um, so yeah, there are always issues. I know it's your job to, to see that or we have the away form or we have the, the home form. And now we have this issue. Yeah, we also will overcome this issue. Uh, but this is the truth. Um, but today we have to say the credits to Newcastle. Uh, after a start where we could have scored with Canacho, they were better, th better than us. They were more, say, more proactive. And we had to go behind, uh, to go back. We had to defend. Uh, we, we did that. But yeah, we allowed them one goal. And then in the end, we fought back. We had two good opportunities. But yeah, uh, and luckily, we couldn't take a point from, uh, from here. In the first half, you seem to be unhappy with Anthony Marshall. He seems to argue back at you. What, what, was, what was the issue with him? Uh, uh, so it's not about Anthony Marshall. Uh, it's about the team. Uh, you try to energize a team and you try to get a reaction from a team. It's this moment you see we had a tough period. And then you, uh, in your coaching, you are a little bit more aggressive, and that's normal. Eric, I know you've got injury problems, but for that first 80 minutes, was that an acceptable performance from a Manchester United team? Nah, if, if you lose, then you are always unhappy, and yeah, we, we talk with the team about the why, and, but then I'm sure this team is resilient, and we have to pick this up. Uh, after City also, uh, we did that. This team is to have the experience um, and we have to get ready for Wednesday, the next game, and don't stay too long in this game. With Marcus is clearly out of form at the moment, there's no denying that. Is it just a matter of being out of form? Is it a psychological issue? Does it go a little deeper than that? And when you have to have specific words with him about that, does it concern you? Because it was so high last season. And he's so far off that this season. Yeah, I know this issue is coming up then, and they are. And uh, Marcus is investing a lot. Uh, we support him, and he will return to his form. It, it, it seemed like you, you made steps forward against Everton with Galatasaray. Is there a specific reason why it seems like tonight is, is quite a big setback after you've had two relatively good performances in the last couple of I will talk. Uh, with my team about about the reasons, but um, we have to do better. And as I said, I'm sure they will pick this up. Um, I'm sure uh, they are resilient. They have the character to do this. Eric, you're saying you don't talk to your team. Are you just hoping that they get better, or do you believe that they will get better? <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not hoping. <laughs> I, I'm sure, and we have seen uh, we have seen good performances in the week against Everton, against Galatasaray, and uh, it's um, you always want uh, that you play every game the perfect game, but if you have so 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 many games in a short period, yeah, you can have also uh, a, a less good performance. Uh, now we have to pick this up. Is it the same? Is it the same with Marcus as well? It's people watching him and, and he, he just doesn't seem like the same player. Yeah. Um, he, I repeat myself, but he works hard and he's investing a lot. He will, uh, he will get back, he will recover and he gets all, all our support. Yeah. Eric, you you mentioned there that Marcus is investing a lot and in working hard, but in that first half, especially there were three or four occasions when he wasn't tracking back and was like 60 yards behind the ball. Is that not frustrating as a manager when they're not tracking back? Uh, I don't go into individual performances. Last question. Not the left, he hits the middle to make this decision? Because it was tactical and uh, we wanted to, to create uh, fullbacks with uh, a lot of overlaps and underlaps in attacking and it, it didn't go up. But there was the idea uh, to have fresh fullbacks. Uh, uh, Aaron played 
uh, one game and not a whole game. Diogo played in Everton and came on in um, in Istanbul. And Luke Shaw is returning from um, uh, from an injury. And I, I didn't want him to play as a fullback. Um, but there was an idea as a centre-half. And I think the, the centre-backs did it very well, Harry and, and Luke Shaw, together. Um, uh, but there was clearly the idea to, to get him in that left center half position uh, to uh, constructing uh, the opportunity that Jogo can go high. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah.